This is a Willie Harris engine, which I've just finished restoring, at least to working condition. I've uh, yet to decide what to do with it cosmetically. Uh, there was quite a bit wrong with it when I, when I acquired it. In fact, there's no way it could have worked. With this cylinder and that poor face, the hole in the uh, cylinder was way, way out. So either it's never worked since it was made, or possibly that's not the original cylinder. Maybe it's a, an attempted repair which went wrong or something, but anyway, it's working now. It's unusual in that the, the burner, along with its Smith's tank, is built into the base. Which means of course that it can never get lost, which is a good thing. But the filler plug can get lost, we only was missing. But that's easy enough to uh, to make. Apart from the problem with the cylinder, there are a few other minor problems, like the uh, steam pipe was blocked, a bit of a mystery of that, and it was also maybe resolving at the boiler end. Unfortunately that meant ruining the paint, but uh, it couldn't be helped. The uh, two plugs, one in the boiler one in the burner were missing. I've got a good friend to make replacements, for, new replacements for those. While he was at it, I asked him to make one of them in the form of a safety valve. They were originally both plugs, but I thought a safety valve would be a good idea there. There's a bit of a wobble on the flywheel. It uh, 
doesn't stop it working. It seems to take its time getting going. But it does go a bit better than it is at the moment. It started off very slowly. But of course it's a not good heavy brass flywheel so uh, it was able to run slowly. And uh, it seems to pick up as the pressure builds up. Seems to run rather nicely anyway. As I said, the burner is built into the base. And the, this half of it is the tank. And the wick hooks up through a hole under the the boiler there. 